Just a couple of couple of werewolves, you know, living the dream in a deep, dark basement. Hello. Huh. What's that? Pray for on the right track. Stay close. Yeah, all the better to see you with, my dear. Shh. <laughs> That's a fairy tale reference. About big bad wolves. Is that? That's definitely like a. That. <laughs> That is a definite werewolf breathing right in front of us. Jesus. Not cool. Not interested. Guess I have no choice. What was that? He's chained up. Ooh. I think we found Chris Hackett. Whoa. Hello, fellow werewolf. We are also of your kind. Okay. So I guess he chains, chains himself up so that... I'm not sure. Oh boy. Oh my god. He try to tackle the <laughs> Bobby, Bobby, Bobby. Oh, we're gonna have to do it. I'm doing it. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see if it's gonna fix it or not. Oh my god. Oh. Like immediate. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Was this the tarot? Oh, I wonder if I was not supposed to shoot him. Thanks. For um, not killing me. Yeah. Likewise. So, what now? Everyone's back to normal? I think this is over. This isn't over. Okay, uh, then. I don't understand Chris is dead. Oh. oh, Chris wasn't the first. That's not possible. She Kayla. says that so confidently. Kaylee, the girl you killed, her brother. What? Caleb bit Chris and Kaylee. Chris was just trying to protect him. He was a good man, my brother. Well, then who bit Caleb? Silas. Okay, okay. I've been tracking him for years. Okay. He's a, a gypsy, a transient. He'd been long gone from the area, but we hoped he'd come back so we could end this. Anyway, there's sightings up and down the coast. A uh, feral albino child 
giant white wolf. But he could be anywhere. White wolf. What? What'd you say? Where? Where'd you see it? Hey, buddy, go! At the, At the cabins earlier tonight. Okay. Okay. Okay, it makes sense. It all makes sense, yeah. He must have been back for months, and he's what ran you off the road two months ago. Help me. Help me. We can still save Caleb. We can still save what's left of my family. We. I we guess can help those that makes sense because the woman in the woods was calling for Silas, right? In what world would I help you? Why should I trust you? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, he could have just killed us if he really wanted to. Why the hell should I trust you? I'm not asking you to trust me. I'm telling you we can end this. We kill Silas, everyone gets better. Everyone uh, who's still alive anyway. Well, okay, we we okay. at least now so have the proof, right? That it does where work. Where even find him? I know exactly where to find him. Okay, let's go. Okay. This doesn't mean I forgive you for what you did to me. I understand. <laughs> I just noticed she's in her underwear and... Can someone please give me some <laughs> fucking clothes? Yeah, good timing. I just find it so bizarre how they don't address that you know, all the clothes blow off, but the underwear comes back. It's like the Hulk thing. Yeah, it drives me nuts. You had your chance. You had your chance to wipe out that wretched family and you failed. Oh, she's all desynced. Doesn't matter. There's still time. We can still come out on top. Past is the past. Let's just <clears throat> look to the future, shall we? Oh. Death. Death takes okay, many she's forms. Fixed. It could mean change, transition, transformation, often interpreted as a, a beacon for the hopeful. In your case, it means, well, it just means death. The sun, the vitality of a new day. There's still time to wake up to the warmth of a night survived. Your choices, your actions, your very life hangs in the balance. It's up to you to find your path in the darkness and see the sun rise once again. Yeah, that would be nice. Judgment. The bells of judgment cry bloody murder. Or do they? The fury of a hatred earned. Hmm. A fate deserved. Likely. But he may have his uses, though he won't forgive. He won't forget. He won't forgive, he won't forget. The Hierophant. Where did you find this? Oh. Where did you find it? This was the one we read that was a little different. Here. He's been through enough pain. No, no, no. My poor boy. You see what they did to us? Oh. Hello. Six years ago. Okay. No. <laughs> what have they done? What have they done? Ah! Harem Scarum. Eliza reads the card. Silas the dog boy. 
I don't know. Silas, my boy. What would have happened if we didn't dodge there? She's obviously alive. Or is she? I don't know, actually. Maybe she's not. Damn. Oh, that's the sheriff. Got to moisturize. Oh. Mommy's coming, Silas. <laughs> Mommy's coming, Silas! 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 This tells me... Whoa. It tells me it might not be the first time that he's gotten out because she immediately knows about covering her face in blood or her body in blood or whatever. The tower. What? No, no, no. My poor boy. Do you see what they did to us? How they hurt us. He's out there still, all alone. Each full moon they hunt him, armed with silver, trying to put an end to a curse they inflicted upon themselves when they set my show ablaze six years ago. Stupid shit. Little silence. My little white wolf. He must be protected. You must not follow this path. Do you understand? Remember how I've helped you all this time? Remember how much I've done for you? Well, <laughs> no promises because... I'm not too inclined to not kill the werewolf. Chapter 10, The Final Girl. Oh, so he's cured. Oh. What? what the fuck? Or not. Why yes. Why am I top of a fucking tree? <laughs> What? How the hell am I gonna get down? <laughs> Asked an answer. <sighs> oh, do you hear that breathing? I feel like I hear like panting almost, like dog breathing. Where the hell am I? Maybe not. Oh yeah. He's on the island. Oh, 
Where the hell are my clothes? You gotta be kidding me. <laughs> Whose clothes are those? <laughs> okay. Yeah, awesome. Gotta find Laura. Okay. Anything back here? I want to say when we visited here before as uh, the girl. Is there anything here? It's not. Uh, we weren't able to go past the the ladder. But I could be wrong. The matches. Totally should have just gone to the Harbinger Motel. <laughs> Yeah, how that would have changed things. Tail hat. She must have come back. Hey, I guess he has no recollection that he tried to kill her. That's definitely a look. It's definitely a look. Should we try and check up the stairs? Still a little concerned about what's in the water. I actually think we're going to stay, right? Like, we've been warned so many times. Don't go into the water. So, we saw that thing down there that was, like, being weighted down. A body of some kind. I can pay attention to instructions. Hopefully they realize the campus glows and try the motel up the road. Oh God. Okay. <sighs> okay, Caitlin. The rain's been off and on all night. These fuckers know you're in here. They're coming back first chance they get. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Okay. I need to get to a vantage point. Let's just check everything. Is this the, uh, yeah, okay. This is like the front section, I think, that we could look into at the beginning of the game, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, should we close this? What's not okay? Better. Nice. Yeah, this is actually this is that specific window. Okay. Gotcha.
I would be very uncomfortable in here, man. <laughs> no freaking way. Is this blocked? Apparently. I can't even, can't see anything. Then we need advantage points. We need to go up somewhere. Here we go. Who's that? How long has this guy been here? Ancestral portrait. Large and overbearing, this regal oil painting of Septimus Hackett holds pride of place in the lodge's chimney column. Hunting trophy wall. The Hackett's killed these animals with silver after they survived werewolf bites and became infected. There's no telling what this infection would do to non-humans, but it seems the Hackett's didn't want to find out. We actually, we probably have a bunch of stuff to clear out here. Packet scrap. Charge sheriff's badge. Travis has used his power as sheriff to help his family cover their tracks ever since the fire. Kaylee dead. Caleb infected both his father and sister six years ago, sometime after this photo was taken, and now he's the only one left alive. The ranger box. Hackett's leave supplies for when their infected family members turn back at dawn after full moon. Oh, okay. 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 Trail cams. The Hackett's have been searching for Silas, the wolf boy, uh, for six years. Chris set up surveillance operation to help the cause, but to no avail. There's still this question mark one that's bugged. Septimus Hackett was running the show when the Hackett's fortune started to crumble. He was responsible for closing the quarry all those years ago after falling on hard times. The note's referring to Max's car, obviously. Travis wanted to keep it off the books in case anyone came looking for them. Bloodied Caller, don't know. And then Chris Hackett killed the camp mascot. On the night, Laura and Max were killed. When hiding in the storm shelter, he devoured Ian in an attempt to satiate his appetite. It didn't work. I don't recall where we learned that. Okay. Laura did not attack Jedediah. Shot Constance in the head. Travis decided to work with Laura to find Silas. Watch your step. Yeah, see? Okay, open the trapdoor in Chris's office. Loosened a rung. The ladder rung broke when Abby climbed up. Interesting. That's definitely... Well, I feel like she was going to break it and something was going to happen to her, but it didn't happen. So maybe if we have a choice again, we could avoid that. Ryan decided not to sever, sever Dylan's hand. Dylan is infected. Transformed into a werewolf at the scrapyard. White whale. Ryan... Sh okay. Laura did not shoot Travis when escaping her cell. Ryan shot Chris Hackett with silver, curing his line of infection. Ryan survived the ordeal. Laura, Travis, and Ryan decided to work together to find Silas. Team building. Dylan and Caitlin went to the scrapyard... Caitlin abandoned Dylan in the scrapyard. Abigail and Emma found silver shells in the storm shelter. Emma and Abigail found their way into the lodge. Caitlin was left to defend the lodge alone. Okay. Love labors lost. Ryan decided to free Jacob from the basement. Ryan successfully opened Jacob's cage, freeing him after we accidentally killed him and went back in time. Laura and Ryan heard more of Travis and Constance's conversation. All the cage doors opened when Laura broke the fuse box. Pound of flesh. Ryan chose not to remove the knife. Had to be careful not to exacerbate his injury as he fled from Bobby. Took his knife back, worsening Ryan's bleeding. Chose to accept Laura's offer to bite him. Ryan was saved from blood loss. Okay. Keep looking. 
Maybe I should keep looking. Okay, so this takes us where? The other side of the stairs. Let's check all the rooms here. Oh, we can go up even higher here. Rip Ian, we hardly knew you. <laughs> Weird. Poor Ian. Some camp mascot to kick it before camp starts. Well, nine sight. Sounds about right. I, okay, did I miss, like, I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm drawing a blank on Chris Hackett doing something to this mascot. From the looks of the drawing, Ian was a sheep, though nobody got to meet him this year. The campers never knew how Chris killed and ate the camp mascot. In fact, they didn't know a lot about camp leader Chris Hackett. All right. I'm gonna go up here, so I don't forget. It's been a long time since I played Until Dawn, but this really reminds me of, like... There was a cabin in there, too. It feels very Where similar. I've seen this emblem before. Inscribed Jewelry. Discarded jewelry thrown off in a scuffle. The inscription reveals that it belonged to Bobby Hackett. I remember Mr. H's cheesy ass announcements. Whoa. Ooh. Ooh. Busted. Uh, remember how they, they didn't like loud noises and feedback and stuff, so that could have been cool, but never mind. What's this? Trail cam footage. Oh, here we go. It's like they're looking for something. Evidence, baby. We got eight on ten. Dating back six years. Okay, okay. I'm assuming there'll be some type of, like, check at the end to see if we've collected enough evidence to... I don't know. Assuming we all make it out of here. Turn that over to the authorities. Okay, let's just check the other end of the top section here. Who is that? Nice to put a name to a big mean face. So what, you're like Mr. H's brother, I guess? Is it like uh, Bobby's, I guess? <laughs> I guess because not every character has seen everything, so there's a lot of stuff that sort of overlaps to kind of flush things out or flush things out for the others. Jeez, 
I'm see, really struggling if they're begging for a dollar. Mother and father found a haggis quarry. Don't worry, your children, something, something. Jeez. Asking campers' parents for additional donations to help with lodge renovation costs. Isn't that what camp fees are for? What else could their money be going? Well, yeah. Renovation plans. It's asking campers' parents for donations. The repairs might be more crucial than they first thought. Ian was a sheep, the camp mascot. Something slaughtered him down in the sh shelter. See, we got this before, which is maybe why it's so confusing. Is this the same? No. A different upper section. Hello. Eliza was killed. Okay. Okay. Eliza was killed in the fire that broke out at her traveling show six years ago. Her ghost roams the woods of Hackett's Quarry ever since, the Hag of Hackett's Quarry. She's been determined to get revenge on the Hackett family for what they did to her. Her tarot cards, once lost in the blaze, have allowed her to guide you through the night. Though her motives may not have been as transparent as first thought. Obviously. After missing a lot of early tarot cards, um, pretty happy with the amount we found. Once we kind of learned how the system worked, and just having to scavenge every little corner made a big difference. Okay. So I guess it's where the Septimus portrait is. That's our spot to kind of say, let's go. Let's do it.